Hello, I'm Svara. I'm one of the co-founders and CTO of Rust. And behind me here, we have one of the first pre-production models of P3000 that I know a lot of you have been really excited about. In short, P3000 is a precision tool for roasting good coffee. I wanted to have a machine where I can keep the joys of creating a profile, getting the best out of the coffee, but I wanted the machine to replicate it so that once you've sort of dialed in your profile, you know that the machine can replicate it 100%. So in developing P3000, one of the main challenges has actually been the roasting chamber. Since the roasting chamber is completely symmetrical, but it's also fixed, so the roasting chamber isn't moving around, but we have mechanical arms that are agitating the coffee. And since coffee beans are fairly small and they come in all shapes and sizes, and sometimes there's stones, bolts, whatever, we need to make sure that the roasting chamber can handle all of these, uh, yeah, call it defects, and at the same time um, be as precise as we want it to be. So finding a producer and working with the producer to produce the actual roasting chamber to our standard has been probably one of the biggest challenges that we have had. So right now we are working on just finalizing all the small details on the machine. It's mostly the cosmetic parts that we're working on right now actually. And besides that, we are developing two additional units for the P3000. One is a smoke and odor reduction system, which is basically an electric afterburner with a catalytic unit. And the other one is a feeding unit that you can fill up with 100 kilos of coffee and then it will weigh that coffee based on your profile and vacuum lift it into the machine so you can roast up to 100 kilos of coffee without any manual interaction with the machine. We can't give an exact date on when P3000 will be ready because quality is our number one priority. But we hope to have the first uh, not pre-production model ready in around six months from now. We know that a lot of you are really excited about the launch of this machine, so we will continue working really hard on finalizing it. So stay tuned for the next video where we're going to show you how to roast on it.